Hello, in this video we are going to look at how to represent um, both positive and negative binary numbers using a method called complement. So um, that's using a method called ones and twos complement. So to understand complements, first we'll look at the decimal system and we'll think of decimal numbers uh, and something like an odometer in a car. So for example, if the odometer in a car was showing uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, in either miles or kilometers, and it was able to go backwards by 1, then it would show 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. Okay? So therefore, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 can be used to represent minus 1. All right? And 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 8 could be used to represent minus 2. 9, 9, 9, 997 could be used to represent minus 3 and so on. So um, basically that's how we get 9's complement. So um, we work out, uh, let's go back here and do that. So we can work out the 9's complement uh, that way. To work out the 10's complement we add 1 to whatever we get with the 9's complement. So let's have a look at an example here. We want to represent minus 326, all right, using 9's and 10's complements. So first do 9's complements to represent um, minus 326, and then we'll look at how to represent it using 10's complements. So we'll start over here, we'll have 9999999, and we'll take away 326 okay I need to put zeros over here as well okay so we'll take that away so 9 minus 6 is 3 1 9 minus 2 is 7 9 minus 3 is 6 and 9 minus 0 is 9 and again and again so 9 9 9 6 7 3 that is our 9's complement so we're just represented minus 326 using 9's complement to represent minus 326 using 10's complements, all we need to do is add on a 1. Okay, so we get, uh, so 3 plus 1 is 4, 7 plus 0 is 7, 6 plus 0 is 6, 9, 9, and a 9. Okay, so 999674. That, rep that can represent minus 237. So we've represented minus 237 um, as 999673 using nines complements or 999674 using tens complements. So if we take the negative of the negative of 326, we get back to the number 326. So if we take the tens complement of the tens complement, of 326, then we should get back to uh, 326. Okay, that is nines and tens complements in the decimal system. Now we're going to look at how to represent positive and negative numbers in the binary system. So we can use the same scheme with the binary number system by basically just imagining odometer and odometer again, but this time we're imagining it with ones and zeros, and we use the twos and ones complements. Okay, so firstly we can calculate the ones complement by basically just subject, subtracting each digit from one and it, um, a shortcut to that is just swap the ones and zeros around. So for example, if we want to find the negative of the binary number 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, then we need to um, subtract each of these digits from one. So we'll have one, 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 minus zero, zero, one, one, zero, one, zero, one. And a shortcut is to just um, swap the ones and zeros that we see here. So one minus one is zero, one minus zero is one, one minus one is zero, one minus zero is one, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 0 is 1, and again 1 minus 0 is 1. So we can see here we've just swapped around the um, binary digits with here, okay? 
So it's pretty easy. Um, so that's how we get the uh, ones complement of a binary number. Now to get the twos complements of a binary number, all we need to do is add one. Um, and if there's a carry beyond the number of digits in the register to the left, then we just ignore that. So um, all we need to do is add one to get the twos complements. Okay. Now we'll just put zeros here as well. Um, Cause this is a full byte that we have here. Okay. So zero plus one is one, one plus zero is one, zero plus zero is zero. 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 0 is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, 1 plus 0 is 1, and 1 plus 0 is 1. So we get the answer 11001011, and that's the twos complement um, of the number uh, 00110101. Okay, so we have our ones complements here, and we have our Two's complements here as well. Okay, and that's how we can represent a um, negative of a binary number using ones and two's complements. Okay, so now we'll have a look at um, another problem. And this one will involve a carry, so we can see how we can handle that. And all we're going to do this time is we're going to get the ones and two's complements of, so we're going to um, represent. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, in 1s and 2s complements, okay? So this is, um, let's grab the pen, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, all right. So to get the 1s complements, we subtract uh, each digit from 1, all right, so we'll put our 1s in there. And so the shortcut is to just swap the uh, ones and zeros around. So one minus zero is one, one minus zero is one, and that's just going to be the same for the rest of these digits here. Okay, so we're just swapping the zeros with ones. Pretty easy. Now we have our ones complements. To get the twos complements, we just add a one there, and put zeros over here. Okay, now, one plus one in binary. If you've done your binary addition, you'll know that one plus one is one zero. So we put the zero down here and we put the one up here. Um, then we have one plus one plus zero, which is just one plus one. So again, we put a zero down here and a one up here. One plus one, again, is one zero. So a zero down here, one up here. One plus one, one zero, one up here, one plus one, one is one zero, so it's zero down here and a one up here. And obviously we're just going to keep doing this because they're all the same. Okay, and now we come up to here and we have it again, one plus one, which is one zero. Okay, and we get that. So we've got a carry. But remember, if there's a carry beyond the number of digits in the register, then we ignore it. So we ignore this carry, and that's our twos complement. Okay? So twos complement is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. All right, now just remember um, we can check if a number is positive or negative just by looking at the leftmost bit. So if the leftmost bit is a one, then it's a negative number. And if the leftmost bit is a zero, then it's a positive number. Okay. Um, although strictly speaking, we should say if the leftmost bit is a zero, then it's a non-negative non number rather than um, a positive number. Because in this case, the number could be zero, which it is. So um, the number here is zero for the leftmost bit, which means that it's a non-negative number. Okay, if it was a one, then it would mean that it was a negative number. Okay, um, so there's two good reasons why we can use complements, um, and usually twos complements, and that's because it's easy to calculate. So a lot of the process just simply involves swapping zeros and ones, 
and then um, to get the ones complement, and then to get the twos complement, we just add a one. Um, and also, they have simple algorithms for doing subtractions. So um, that's how to represent negative uh, numbers in binary using ones and twos complements. Thanks for watching.